My adorable host, Annie the Labrador, is snooping around the sprawling countryside home where she and her famous human enjoy a laid-back lifestyle in complete privacy. That was until we strapped a camera to her, of course. And we find ourselves atop a perilous set of stairs. But there is no room out of bounds to Annie. And oh, oh is that a pool table? That looks interesting. Oh, and a soft toy, a, a duck, I think. And another one, a teddy bear. Well chewed, much loved, but obviously not now. I have to say, you could eat your dinner off these floors, which isn't bad for what you could casually describe as a games room. That pool table is of no interest to Annie, but sorry, let me stop and take it all in. I mean, it's clearly designed for fun and good company, but the attention to detail prevails here. There are three lamps, strategically placed at just the right heights to chase shadows. Balls, neatly lined up, just waiting to be broken. And the neatly displayed collection of football scarves and jerseys on the wall. I do believe I found a clue to our homeowner's identity. And the glorious celebrity must have a vintage-looking jukebox. I wonder if it plays Who Let the Dogs Out. Of course, Annie has no interest in this whatsoever. She's going straight for her balls. And she's off again. Good dog. And now... Annie! Oh, oh, she's been summoned by her human. Annie, you playing pool? Annie, you must go to him. Where is she? That voice. If I'm right, then that is a Scottish brogue, a Caledonian lilt. A Glaswegian twang. Where are you? Annie. Where is she? Up. On you go. Up. It is. Hey. It's Kevin Bridges. Where you been? You want to say? Oh, oh Annie, you ate that man's dinner. Hey, my dinner. Hey, my dinner. My name is Kevin Bridges. I'm a stand-up comedian. I've been performing comedy for 16 years. First tried it when I was 17. And here we are. I now live north of Glasgow, a place that I've always loved since I was a child, uh, coming here on trips with my mum and dad. And it's a beautiful part of the world. Peaceful, a bit too peaceful. It's a place I never thought I would live until I was at least 75, or I had grassed up a drug dealer and placed in the witness protection programme. But the hills are great. Annie loves going up to the Monroe's. So it's brilliant for me, my wife, and most importantly, this legend here. Annie was a rescue dog. She was found apparently on the street somewhere and handed in to the Dogs Trust. And that was it, that was six years ago. So I've had her for six years. And she's my best pal in the world. And full of energy, always makes me happy, always get a great reception. Even when you come home steaming, three o'clock in the morning, you still get a hero's welcome. Full marks to Kevin on his choice of hound and home. Who designed it? Two guys that I know. A guy called Gary and a guy called Jimmy that are joiners, plasterers, just top tradesmen. So next time you need any refurbishment work, contact Gary and Jimmy. They've done a great job. Didn't they, Annie? Remember Jimmy? He used to always bring sandwiches. Remember? He was your pal. We came in, done a bit of refurb. My wife pretty much picked everything as I just gormlessly stood in the showrooms behind her, agreeing 